Ellsbury from Acrylic Car Paintings. Welcome to my channel. Using the Kills Multi-Surface Sealer, I, as a medium, I will prepare my paints. One part paint, one part medium, straight from the can. But that sound, that didn't sound so good, huh? Straight from the can. <laughs> anyway, you know what I mean. I'm showing you here. It's just, I'm not adding anything yet. So I am just going to incorporate the medium with the paint, like so. And then I'm going to add a little bit of water, about, I would say about 10% or so per color until I reach the viscosity that I'm looking for, which is about warm honey. There you go. Now I'm gonna, these are the colors I'm gonna be using. I have the dark ones here and I have this kind of like neutral and then I have my blues. I'm gonna be using three in one, not with silicone, just straight three in one lubricant. I'm gonna be using about four drops per color. And then all I have left is just lightly mixed the colors. Ready for the pour, I'm gonna start with my neutral here and then my metallic. In the metallic, I only use water. I did not use medium because it doesn't interact well. And then my darker brown. And then I'm gonna use my neutral before I start using the shades of blue. See? Now goes my turquoise. And in goes my lighter turquoise, which is the previous color that I just used with a little bit of white. And then I do it all over again, all right? Now I'm ready for my pour. There we go. Tap it a little bit and then drag and boom. Oh my gosh. Look at those sales. I'm so excited. So excited. Oh. <laughs> okay. Put a little bit of heat in there. See if it does anything. Oh, I'm loving that side. Okay. Now I'm going to take my time to tilt, which is the second most important step in fluid art. Now the reason I use different mediums guys literally is because it would be easier for me to just go to the store buy my flow troll buy my thread made silicone or the methicone or whatever it is and then do my pours and i will get gorgeous sales the problem is that some of my subscribers are in countries outside of the united states who don't have access to these products and so it would be useless for me to show these products that they can get. So I try to find other things that they can use, that they can find in their countries and that they can use to create. Okay, so now I'm gonna use a little bit of the color that I have left in here to help my pour slide a little bit better and you'll see that when you do this part you will see that there comes a point where the pour gets a little bit stuck and when we put a little bit of the other colors that we had left in our cups it helps out the corners Now I'm gonna use a straw to blend the pour with the color I put in the corners. Kind of like when we put on our eyeshadows, you know, and then we gotta blend them together. Well, same concept. See, I kind of like it like that. And I'll do the same with the other corner. There you go. All right. 
I really like this side. See? It looks like this. But since I don't like it, in this side, I'm gonna add a little bit of the tempera blue that I had left in my cup in there and see if by swiping I create a little bit of a better design in here because I don't like that copper all yucky there. I like this better. Okay, very good. So yes, I'm happy now. All right, very good. Give it a little bit of heat and see if it gives me some more sales. It didn't, fine, be that way. Now this is what it is. And if this has helped you in any way, guys, I will invite you to subscribe to my channel and press that notification bell for future videos. Now this is how it looks like already dried. I absolutely love, love the cells in this side over here. See, you can see, uh, absolutely adore them. Now the other side, I got, I got a little too carried away and I did not tilt it well and it cracked a little bit. But this is what I use to varnish it. Just thought I'd let you know. So thank you for joining me today. If you decide to try this technique, Come and share it with us in our group on Facebook. Till then, keep painting.